Welcome to the Political Report. I'm Naomi, the developer of the Political Report. I'm Rihanna, the content creator. I'm Caleb, the content editor at the Political Report. I'm Robert, the chief journalist at the PTR. And welcome to our blog. Uh, we are a team of political media enthusiasts who aim to educate readers, um, evaluate past political strategies, and mobilize the next generation of thinkers to apply what we teach them uh, when they are reviewing politics, not only in the present day, but also forevermore. Today we will be talking about the essence of social media and the internet and how they affect the political society today. So let's start with the history of the internet and social media. A lot of us still remember um, early in the early 2000s when a lot of our families had home computers and that was the primary way that people used computers, especially in the 90s. They had the big desktop computers and that's where we access the internet and social media accounts as well. Um, things got more portable when people started using laptops to use it. Um, but now, especially that we have iPhones, we can take them with us anywhere we want to. So anytime we want to check social media or the internet, we have it in our hands anytime that we need it. So a lot of us still remember the beginning of one of the biggest social media platforms, Facebook, in the early 2000s as well. But social media is still continuing to grow more and more over the last two decades. Um, it's crazy because there's about 7 billion people in the, US, in the uh, world population and over half of them use the internet and also over half of them all have social media accounts. So much of the world's population is on social media today. So of course it has an impact on society. I mean, most people will post before they eat a sandwich or go on a bike ride or if they go on vacation, they'll want to share those pictures. So a quarter of the world's population today is on Facebook and 80% of internet users are on Facebook. This is a huge statistic. This means that everyone from grandmas to young teens are consuming their internet on social media. Social media has leveled the playing field. There are teens on the same platform as world leaders. And this has affected so much. I mean, we have the mental health of these teenagers and the mental health of these world leaders all coexisting and posting whatever they feel is right. So how does this impact political society today? So as Brianna said just a few minutes ago, um, having having political world leaders on the same stage as teenagers can prove to have massive political repercussions. According to Penn State University in a study they conducted, um, one of the participants made a comment and it was, you don't have to have big money, big sponsors, lots of volunteers or lots of clout in order to get your public opinion out on a social media platform. So this kind of, this kind of proves to be complicated, but also interesting for politics in the future going forward. Um, when, when everyone has, has access to, to the same platform and the same level of responsibility, whether you're you know, the king of the world or a teenager, 13 year old kid, everybody now is held kind of to the same standard uh, on social media. Politicians are now seeing the sandwiches we eat, the bike rides we take, and our lives through social media. This is important now more than ever. Uh, it's their goal as a politician now and as political resources and organizations to relate to us as the public more than ever before now that we are all on the same shared platform. So as Caleb addressed right before me that you have these older people, like the older generation and all these teenagers, like, and everywhere in between on the same app, same social media platforms, but some are, hired, uh, some are held to a higher standard. Uh, you see politicians, like on Twitter, for example, they uh, can get censored if like Twitter necessar doesn't necessarily agree with like, what they put out. And we saw that with uh, Donald Trump. He got banned from Twitter, Facebook, uh, not Instagram, I don't think. But you see like how, that's how he reaches his followers and like all the supporters like will follow him and people in the middle like would follow him too just to see like his general ideas and kind of see like how it goes, you know. But since he got censored, like none of his followers necessarily get to see like what he puts out there for his fans to see and all the like middle middle and right leaning people would like want to see.
Thanks so much for joining us today. We hope that this has grown your knowledge of social media and politics. Don't forget to check in with us next week. We have another vlog coming up for you guys then. Have a great day.